Overwhelmed by the forces of House Wolfort, Esfrost's troops are scattered and driven from the Crown City. Glenbrook, at last, is free. Several days after this fateful battle, Queen Cordelia announces her intent to abdicate the throne and make way for another. Roland Glenbrook, his face no longer hidden from the world, will take his rightful place at the seat of power. With the prince's friends having only just finished grieving his death, and his enemies having only just finished toasting to it, this news shocks the foundations not only of Glenbrook, but of Norzelia itself. Benedict's daring stratagem has left deep scars across the city, which stand as a statement to Esfrost that their enemies will do anything to see them defeated. The prince becomes king and condemns the schemes of Gustadolf, making known Esfrost's plot to usurp the throne. However, the people's reaction to this news is not quite a chorus of approval. It is plain that the ravages of war and the shame of subjugation have left an indelible mark on the once prosperous nation. Although the battle for Glenbrook is behind them, Serenoa and the rest of the city's liberators must make ready for a struggle of an entirely different sort. Congratulations on returning to your rightful throne, King Roland. Ah, you've returned. My friend, a word. Yes. I am honored to have had you by my side on this journey. To be able to call you friend. As am I, Roland. Your Majesty, representatives from Hyzant have arrived. We shan't make undue demands of your time, King Roland. We've simply come to say farewell. Without your aid, my people would still be under Esfrost's iron rule. Glenbrook owes you a debt of gratitude. Consider the debt paid. The knowledge we gleaned of Elfric's capabilities was more than worth our troubles. Indeed, it surpassed my every expectation. The Holy One is sure to be pleased with the results. Your Majesty, can we trust you to lift the embargo and keep Esfrost subdued? Of course. Lord Wolfort has promised his full cooperation in that regard. Your Majesty, lest you misunderstand your friend's position, allow me to make one matter abundantly clear. Minister Serenoa is of the Saintly Seven. He is not to serve at your whims, but by the grace of the Hierophant. I understand, but he is also a Lord of Glenbrook. More importantly, he is my friend. As such, I would ask for his assistance in the days ahead, as I have in days past. Your Majesty, it is plain that the friendship between you two runs deep. However, the rules of politics are old and immutable. And what does the Lord himself think of his new position? Of course, I am grateful for the honor Hyzant has bestowed upon me. I will do all in my power to serve both the Hierophant and King Roland with all faithfulness. In other words, the Hierophant does not have your full loyalty. Well, I... Glenbrook and Hyzant are to be two nations united in purpose. Surely it is reasonable that Lord Serenoa acts in service to both? Perhaps King Roland and the Hierophant should discuss my lord's role together. You are right, of course. It is not our place to assume the goddess's intent. Very well. I hope to meet with the Holy One as soon as my duties allow. I expect busy days ahead for you, Serenoa. Be prepared. Certainly, Your Majesty. 
Milo shall stay in Glenbrook for the time being. If there is aught she can assist you with, consider her at your complete disposal. Remember, Milo, that you are the symbol of friendship between our two nations. <laughs> but of course, I live to serve, Minister. And with that, we shall take our leave. May we meet again soon. They leave us with a spy. It seems we still haven't won their trust entirely. Whatever secrets they uncover will only attest to our commitment to the friendship between us. Still, their actions speak volumes. Their aid has not come without expectation of just recompense. Already, they seek to make Lord Saranoa their puppet. But we need Hyzant's aid to crush Esfrost. By the same token, we cannot resist Hyzant without Esfrost's might. And once Esfrost is laid low, Glenbrook will have served its purpose. What then would stop Hyzant from tightening their grip? Just as they did with the Rosal. The injustice I saw at the Source is not something I'll soon forget. If you require proof of Hyzant's true nature, you need only remember. I know. I know. This country is my home. Built by my father and the kings before him. Safeguarded by my sister and generations of my forebears. I will rebuild it. Restore its glory and its pride. We will not be treated as dogs at the end of a leash. For now, we must look within. Only after that work is done should we look without. So, the Crown City has fallen. I see. And what of General Avlora? Her forces were swept away in the floods, and she has not been seen since. And my siblings, Thalos and Erika? They died, fighting bravely in battle. My condolences, Your Grace. I understand. I have fewer pieces on the board than ever now. Pieces? Really is true what they say about him. It seems I was wrong to think that Hyzant would remain idle. Or was my more grievous heir to be taken in by the Prince's false death? Hmm. Regardless, I was a fool to show House Wolford any mercy. Your Grace. Reports from the battlefield tell of an unknown weapon being brought to bear against our forces. Oh? Continue. Our troops sighted an explosion of purple smoke from the Tellier Domain before the banks collapsed and flooded the valley. They possess a weapon that can alter the river's flow. We mustn't allow Hyzant to think they've won the upper hand. I intend to answer their weapon with one of my own.